Hello everyone. Welcome to our another video in the series on mastering data structures and algorithms. Today we'll be talking about the merging of the circular linked list. So let's begin. I am Dr. Prashant K. Gupta. This is the link to my website. It contains lots of useful materials. Please have a look at it. Now we'll be talking about the merger of the circular linked list, wherein we are given two or more circular linked list. The idea is that we have to merge the two link or more linked list and the resultant linked list contains the data values from all the linked list. So idea is that there may be two cases that list may be unsorted or list may be sorted. Over here we have considered case number one that is lists are unsorted and taken the example of two circular linked lists. The approach is generalized and can be extended to more circular linked lists. So we have called our procedure C merge U that means merging of the circular linked list and the linked list are unsorted. Start 1 and start 2 are the pointers that contain the addresses of the first nodes of their two respective circular linked list. Now we initially check that if start 1 is null or start 2 is null. So merging is not possible and we simply print that list is empty. Else we make use of this temporary traversal pointer over here. The control will jump to the else part where we initialize traversal with the first node's address of the first circular linked list. We keep on incrementing the value of the traversal till we reach the last node of the first circular linked list using this statement. Upon reaching the last node of the first circular linked list, we will assign it the address of the first node of the second circular linked list. Then we will increment its value and we will search for the last node of the second circular linked list by constantly incrementing using this value from this statement. And upon reaching the last node of the second circular linked list, we will assign it the address of the first node of the first circular linked list to maintain the property of the circular linked list. Let us understand further to an example. Let's say we are given these two circular linked list. Now you can see none of them is null, uh, none of them is empty. So therefore, over here, start one and start two, both of them are not null. So therefore, this statement will not be printed. Now the control jumps to the else part. Now we initialize traversal with the address of the first node from the first circular linked list. Now we check if traversal link is equal to start one or not, which as you can see over here is not the case. So therefore we increment the traversal's value and we keep on going further till we reach the last node of the first circular linked list. Now upon reaching this node, this statement will be false and therefore the control will not go into this while loop. Now we will assign traversal link the address of the start to that is the address of the first node of the second circular link list. So you can see over here earlier which was this link that existed. Now this link is broken and our last node starts pointing to the first node of the second circular link list. Now you can see over here the address value which was earlier start one has now changed to start two and we have also incremented the traversal's link that is traversal now points to the first node of the second circular linked list. So you can actually see we have successfully appended the second circular linked list at the end of the first one because the control flow goes from here to here and here and this is how actually control goes. However, to maintain the property of the circular linked list, this node still points to some intermediate node now. Now this node needs to be made point to the first node over here. So let's see how that is accomplished. Now we check if traversal link is not equal to start to which is exactly the case. So therefore we increment the traversal to point to the second node and this keeps on going till the time we reach the last node of the second circular link list when its link becomes equal to start to over here. So this condition of not equal to will become false and traversal will not be further incremented. Upon reaching this case we simply set traversal link value equal to start one that is the address of the first node of the first circular link list. So now you can see this address field which was earlier start 2 has now changed to start 1. This is the corresponding C program. You can have a look at it. Thank you all for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. More and more good videos will be coming up soon. Thank you.